managing data across multiple tools and platforms can be challenging. And that's where Microsoft Fabric comes in, a unified data platform that seamlessly integrates analytics, engineering, and AI. So in this video, we will look at how Microsoft Fabric transforms business data management and streamlines your workflow. So before we begin, like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from the Edureka's YouTube channel. Also, check out Edureka's Microsoft Power BI certification training in collaboration with PwC Academy, the link to which is given in the description box below. So before we get into the video, let us have a look at today's agenda. First, we will start by understanding why Microsoft Fabric is used and what exactly it is. Next, we will talk about how Microsoft Fabric differ from other solutions. We will then cover an overview of its fundamental concepts and finally, the key components of Microsoft Fabric. So let's start by understanding why is Microsoft Fabric used? Well, Microsoft Fabric simplifies and unifies data management and analytics. It brings together tools for data engineering, data science, real-time analytics, and artificial intelligence into a single platform, allowing businesses to streamline workflows, reduce complexity, and gain faster insights from their data. But what exactly is Microsoft Fabric? Microsoft Fabric is an all-in-one analytics platform for data processing, real-time analytics, and reporting. It integrates services like data engineering and warehousing, using one lake storage and AI to turn raw data into insights effectively. But how is Microsoft Fabric different from others? Microsoft Fabric is a unified end-to-end -end analytics platform designed to tackle the challenges of modern data management. Unlike isolated tools or simple rebranding, Fabric is redesigned from the ground up to centralize data in one lake, removing silos and redundant copies and it makes use of the open delta format which allows data engineers, scientists, and analysts to collaborate seamlessly on the single dataset. Fabric simplifies user experiences by using a web-based interface similar to Microsoft 365 to streamline navigation, access control, and security via unified workspaces. And it also offers centralized governance, monitoring, and a consistent billing model. Organizations with Power BI Premium capabilities can already access Fabric's features, providing a low-cost way to leverage its capabilities with additional licensing. So this integrated approach enables businesses to efficiently convert raw data into actionable insights with a focus on simplicity, collaboration, and scalability. Now, let us have a look at the overview of fundamental concepts. Microsoft Fabric simplifies data management by organizing tools into logical groups called experiences, which are tailored to specific roles such as data engineers and analysts. These experiences improve workflows by providing tools tailored to each user's requirements. And Fabric has three main data storage, which is data warehouse that is designed specifically for structured data and SQL-based queries. Then, Lakehouse combines data lake flexibility and data warehouse performance. Next, KQL database, a database designed for real-time analytics using the custom query language. Then, a semantic model, whether in Microsoft Fabric or Power BI, is a data representation that allows users to query and understand data without having to understand the database underlying complexity. And one notable feature is one lake a unified storage layer that automatically saves all tabular data from these stores in the Delta Parquet format. This open standard ensures seamless interoperability across tools, eliminating the need for data imports, exports, or format conversions while allowing for efficient collaboration across experiences. Next, in Microsoft Fabric, users can interact with data using tools and programming languages appropriate to their roles. Like for example, in the data warehouse experience, Users can write T-SQL scripts, whereas in data engineering and data science, they can use Python, R, or Scala notebooks. And for real-time analytics, KQL is used. Low-code and no-code options are also available, making the platform accessible to the users who do not have the coding experience. Next, the Microsoft Fabric includes four powerful computing engines that convert code written in various languages into queries against the underlying Delta Lake tables in one lick. This allows for seamless integration across tools, eliminating the need for data import or export. 
Data stored in one lake can be accessed directly by any engine, ensuring efficiency and reliability. These compute engines are designed to work with Delta Lake as the native format, ensuring high performance throughout the platform. And then, the platform appeals to both experienced and inexperienced developers by providing a unified interface that allows users to focus on data insights rather than navigation challenges. Microsoft Copilot is also integrated, which improves the experience and supports a wide range of skill levels for faster onboarding and productivity. Now, let us have a look at the components of Microsoft Fabric. Fabric provides a comprehensive suite of analytics experiences that are designed to work together seamlessly. And the platform customizes each of these experiences for a specific persona and task. So first we have the Power BI, which enables you to easily connect to your data sources, visualize and discover what's important and share it with anyone or everyone you want. This integrated experience enables business owners to quickly and initiatively access all data in Fabric as well as make better data-driven decisions. Next, the Microsoft Fabric Business Intelligence Experience is designed to provide valuable insights to business users. And during this experience, important elements such as reports and semantic models are developed. A Fabric report like a Power BI report is a business-facing data visualization used to present insights to stakeholders. When a report is published, it is accompanied by a semantic model that includes the report's backend components such as tables, relationships, DAX measures, and calculation groups. And this model organizes and manages the data that powers the visualizations. The experience includes a suite of business intelligence tools similar to platforms such as Tableau and Looker, but with some distinct differences in how they function within Fabric. The business intelligence experience is designed for a variety of users, including business users who view reports as well as more technical roles, such as Power BI developers, BI analysts, and data analysts who create and manage reports. And it enables these users to collaborate, visualize, and share data insights throughout the organization. Next component is the Copilot in Power BI. Power BI now includes generative AI, which allows you to create reports automatically by selecting the topic for a report or prompting Copilot for Power BI on a specific topic. And you can use Copilot for Power BI to generate a summary for the newly created report page as well as synonyms for improved question and answers capabilities. Next, Data Factory. The Data Factory experience in Microsoft Fabric is intended to improve data movement and transformation efficiency. Its primary use case is to import new data into Fabric, whether from external APIs or organizational systems. It is designed to handle enterprise-level workloads and can efficiently handle large amount of data and frequent updates. And the experience include tools such as data flows and data pipelines. Data flow enable users, including citizen developers, to connect to over 300 data sources and transform the data through a familiar low-code, no-code power query interface. Users who have used Power BI or Excel will find this particular initiative. The transformed data can then be saved in Fabric's data storage solutions such as Lakehouse or Data Warehouse. Data pipelines serve as an orchestration tool automating data processing tasks on a scheduled basis. They can start a notebook run or execute a stored procedure in the Data Warehouse. These tools have capabilities similar to those of popular platforms like Azure Data Factory and Talent. Data engineers, analytics engineers, and Power BI developers are the primary users of the Data Factory experience as they manage and transform data in Fabric. Next is the Real-Time Analytics. The Real-Time Analytics experience in Microsoft Fabric provides the users with tools for handling, managing, and analyzing real-time event data. Event data necessitates a distinct approach and specialized tools. Microsoft Fabric offers a real-time intelligence which allows you to develop analytical solutions for real-time data streams. And in this exercise, you will use Microsoft Fabric's real-time intelligence capabilities to ingest, analyze, and visualize real-time stock market data. You will load real-time data into Microsoft Fabric, query and visualize it, and set up an alert to automate an action based on threshold value in the real-time data stream. In this experience, the available tools are the KQL database, which serves as a repository for streaming datasets, and it is based on the Kustu query language engine, which is also used in Azure Data Explorer for logging and monitoring. 
Event Streams is a no-code tool that allows users to register, process, and route streaming data to multiple destinations within Fabric. KQL query sets enable users to query data stored in a KQL database using the KQL language. And the next component is the Data Activator. Data Activator in Microsoft Fabric is a no-code tool that automates actions based on dynamic data patterns allowing business users to monitor data and trigger actions like sending notifications or running scripts. Microsoft Fabric combines several Azure tools offering core features like one lake to help businesses and data professionals make informed data-driven decisions with an easy-to-use platform. This set of tools is similar to Azure Data Explorer but with the additional of Event Streams and Apache Kafka. Data engineers, IoT engineers, and security engineers typically use this experience, particularly for real-time event logging and security tracking. Next, data engineering. Microsoft Fabric's data engineering experience enables users to create and maintain system for the collection, storage, processing, and analytics of large data sets. Key elements of this experience include, Lakehouse manages both unstructured data, such as files, and structured data, like Lakehouse tables. This component enables data conversion and organizations via tools such as notebooks. Notebooks allows users to write and execute scripts in languages like Python, R, and Scala. These notebooks use Apache Spark, a popular big data processing framework. Spark job definitions are intended for advanced users who require greater control over how jobs are processed by the Spark engine. These definitions are usually written in Python or PySpark. These tools provide functionality similar to Azure Data Lake services, Databricks, and primarily used by data engineers and analytic engineers. Next is the data science. Microsoft Fabric's data science experience includes a full suite of tools to support every stage of the data science process, from data exploration and preparation to modeling, experimentations, and insight delivery via Power BI reports. Key features of this experience include Notebooks are required for data scientists to investigate data, conduct experiments, and develop machine learning models in Python or R. Experiments enable data scientists to track model interactions such as parameters, code versions, and evaluation metrics. These experiments are powered by MLflow, the industry standard for controlling machine learning model training and experimentation. Machine learning model allows for the registration and management of machine learning models during experimentation. This functionality is similar to the tools available in Azure Machine Learning and Databricks notebooks. And the primary users of this experience are data scientists, data engineers who use the tools for model development, fine-tuning, and deployment. Next is the Data Warehouse. The Data Warehouse experience in Microsoft Fabric offers a traditional transactional data warehouse solution that includes tables, schemas, views, stored procedures, and more, all of which can be queried with TSQL. It also contains visual scripting and low or no code options, making it simpler for citizen analysts to work with. And it is built on the Polaris engine, which provides high scalability and distinguishes it from traditional SQL server. And within the experience, users can use Polaris to build a transactional data warehouse, defining tables, schemas, views, stored procedures, and functions. While TSQL usage is similar to SQL server or Azure SQL database, the underlying Polaris engine makes it more comparable to Synapse SQL pools. And it also shares similarities with tools such as Snowflake for users who are familiar with non-Microsoft platforms and Azure Synapse Analytics. This experience is ideal for database administrators, data engineers, data analysts, seeking a scalable enterprise-grade solution for managing large data sets. Now, let us conclude. Well, Microsoft Fabric is more than just an analytics platform. It's a game changer for the data-driven era. By unifying data engineering, real-time analytics, AI, and reporting into a seamless ecosystem, it empowers businesses to transform raw data into actionable insights with ease. Whether you are a seasoned data scientist or a business professional, Microsoft Fabric simplifies complexity and opens door to smarter decision-making, making it an ultimate tool for the future of analytics. And with this, we have come to an end to this video on what is Microsoft Fabric. If you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest.
and do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.